All right, hey everybody, Dan here from Adventures Japan. This is Usui Lake. It's a man-made lake, but it's decent. It's more like a pond by American standards. It's nice and peaceful. Usually it's very uh, low-key, not many people come here. It's a weekday today, it's overcast, so yeah, there's like hardly anybody here today, even less than usual. Nate's over there, he's setting up his kayak. He's got a, a decent real kayak. As for me, I've got an <laughs> inflatable kayak by a company called Intex. I, I don't know, it's probably like the equivalent to like a Walmart quality brand, but yeah, it does the trick. I've only taken it out about five times or so, and about three or four out of five I've uh, gotten small holes, so uh, it's not that great, but it does the job. All right, let's go kayak over and meet up with Nate. Pretty popular place for fishing. We even see some other canoers here. Canoers, kayaks, some people over there fishing off the banks. Uh, you do need a license to fish here. Fish you can catch include anything from uh, dace that get quite large here, carp, um, rainbow trout, cherry trout. I think there's char as well. Yeah, plethora of different fish. It's a very beautiful nature here. The only real thing to watch out for is possibility of encountering bears and uh, the mountain leech. So now we've checked out the dam. Let's go check out that bridge over there. It's a nice little pocket. Um, whenever I come fishing here, I like to, to hit that little area sometimes, as well as up in the inlet of this, this dam and lake. Uh, so let's go see. All right, we're almost there. Beautiful little enclave. Water's a very lush green color. Uh, certain areas you'll see bubbles surfacing. I believe those are clams, but I could be wrong. And it looks like nobody's fishing off the bank over here. Kind of a little hidden spot. There's some trails that go under the, the bridge. And another place I want to take you guys to to check out is the main bridge, the big bridge, up by the inlet. And uh, which tried to not disturb the fishermen, so yeah, we don't want to go too close to where people are fishing. Oh, there's a fish. What is this? Not a carp, it's some smaller. Maybe some type of cherry trout or an iwana. I'm not sure entirely. All right, I set up the GoPro on the chest mount. Well, actually, a clip mount similar to a chest mount. Uh, just gonna try it out. Ah, keeps on moving around, I think. I'm sorry about the quality. We'll see how it goes. So yeah, I really like, I like this lake. There's not, in Gunma anyway, there's not too many lakes. Uh, there's only, I don't know, probably about four or five main natural lakes and the rest are all man-made, including this one. Uh, but uh, yeah, I like this one because it it looks fairly natural and it's got beautiful mountains all surrounded by nature. You would never really know it's a man-made lake and uh, it's quiet, it's peaceful. Uh, I haven't gone fishing here yet, but I've heard it's a decent, uh, decent area to find some fish. So yeah, this is a nice area of Gunma. It's a... Uh, the uh, western side, right on the border of Nagano. All right, and we caught up to Nate. Hey, Nate, What's using up, using the uh, GoPro clip. I don't know how it's looking. Finally caught up to you. There's the large bridge. You can actually go down the stairs in the middle, and there's kind of a protruding peninsula uh, set up with some benches and stuff and it's a very popular place for people to to fish off the bank from um, and then over on the left side there's another little enclave so I'm gonna go under this tree just because it feels good I don't know why 
And those, if I'm lucky, maybe I can find some lures stuck in the trees around these these areas where you know these little pockets that you like to hit when you're fishing up close to the bank and under the overgrowth and stuff. And a lot of people lose their lures in there. Ooh, see some little fish running from me, startling their presence. Hey, next time I'm out here, I'll probably bring my fishing rod. Also, you can you can catch black bass here too. I caught some some bass in here when I was fishing uh, a couple years ago. And all in all, it's just a, a really great place. I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, damage assessment because the last time I went kayaking, this uh, sucker had a little hole in it. But I used, I looked into it, and I bought some. Uh, Gorilla tape. I tried a few other methods. I tried bike tire repair kits and I tried uh, some other kind of boat repair kit and neither of those worked. But today, about an hour before I got in the lake, I uh, tried on some Gorilla tape. All right, coming in a little fast. Uh, slow down. Actually, good speed. All right, got my hand there. Perfect. Unload my gear, and we'll just check on my uh, hole, see if uh, it's still leaking, or if my uh, tape, see if my gorilla tape worked. Let's check it out. Okay. Oh, there it is. Let's flip it over. Let's take a look. Um, I put. Honestly, I don't know the best method. Uh, the main leak is under this one here, and I just put this on for reinforcement. Uh, it's peeling a bit here, but that doesn't match because that's not the main tape. Seems like it's sticking. I'm gonna put the boat in one more time, the kayak in one more time, and just see if there's any bubbles. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's holding. All right, I'm back at shore, and I just wanted to quickly show you Gorilla Tape. So Gorilla Tape, yeah, get it man. It's expensive, but as far as I can tell, it seems to work really well and it's easy to use, it's convenient. Just tear it off what you need, patch it. Um, I don't know, wait, I mean, maybe you could wait 10 minutes. I'd say probably wait an at least an hour. So yeah, thanks for, thanks for checking out Usui Lake. It's a great place, come, come here with your kids. Come here fishing, come here kayaking. All right, thanks everybody. Thanks for watching.